Trump has done many horrible things, but one of the worst things that he did was his Trump T logo. That has a very disturbing resemblance to the Nazi symbol. And in the August Charlottesville protest, organized by white supremacists and neo-Nazis carrying Confederate and Nazi flags, Trump called them very fine people. It's deplorable that Trump attacked a federal judge for his Mexican heritage, bullied a gold star family because of their Muslim faith, dot and promoted the lie that our first black president is not a true American. Trump had also said bad things before presidency that he just brushes off and acts like it's not that bad, such as the grab her by the pusey video that was released. Trump also threatened abandoned Puerto Rico last October, when Trump visited Puerto Rico after the island's devastation by Hurricane Maria he tossed rolls of paper towels at its residents and promised his administration would provide all kinds of aid and would write off Puerto Rico's $72 billion debt. He also sought to downplay the severity of the destruction in the island compared to that wrought by Hurricane Katrina, but the debt has not been written off. Around 1,065 people died on the island in September and October, on par with the Katrina deaths and now, three months after the storm. Thousands of these American citizens still have no power, no homes and no access to potable water and he had the audacity to say it so racistly and he dealt with mass amounts of backlash due to his actions. This is just a list of some of the things that Trump wishes to accomplish. Trump is ruining the planet. Trump has made it a priority to get rid of every regulation President Obama put in place to protect the environment. One of Trump's first actions was to announce the repeal of the Clean Power Plan, one of the toughest actions against global warming ever put in place by the U.S. It's never taken effect and hasn't been repealed yet. But that hasn't stopped the Trump administration from reducing regulations around vehicle emissions, toxic waste, methane leaks and the pollution of drinking water. And let's not forget the denial of climate change and the withdrawal from the Paris Peace Accords. At a speech Trump encouraged police brutality, yes, really. Trump received applause when he addressed a group of police officers on Long Island in July and instructed them to, please don't be too nice, when throwing suspects into the back of a police car. He went on, like when you guys put somebody in the car and you're protecting their head, you know. The way you put their hand over, like, don't hit their head and they've just killed somebody. Don't hit their head, I said, you can take the hand away. Okay, sometimes you just want to kick him in the scrub. Very cringy, especially when he lies and exaggerates. It's hard to insist on truth and integrity when our president will say anything as long as it makes him look good. The Washington Post has been keeping track of Trump's lies by the middle of November. After 298 days in office, Trump had made 1,628 false or misleading claims. That's about six a day. But that's only what the Post's reporters have access to, so the number is probably much higher. All of this means that we must keep resisting as we head further into 2018 and fight for change. Trump made America less great in a survey conducted annually by the Nation Brands Index, the U.S. has lost its top place ranking as the country with the best international image. The top spot is now held by Germany while the U.S. has dropped to sixth place. The poll questioned public opinion on 50 countries, asking questions about governance, culture, heritage, exports, tourism, investment and immigration. Countries ahead of the U.S. were France, 
the UK, Canada and Japan. Those were the overall rankings, but in the area of governance, the US has dropped from 19 to 23 under Trump. In conclusion, Trump is almost every form of an environmental problem, environmental racism, a threat to agriculture and more.